Approximately 1.5 million people in the UK have a learning disability. But what is a learning disability? A learning disability would be... Um, wow, what a huge question because there's so many. Well, wow, there's, there's quite a few, isn't there? There's like... Oh, I, I don't know, it's like to put me on the spot, isn't it? <laughs> it's not an easy question to answer. The NHS has a definition and that says people with a learning disability will have a reduced ability to understand new and complex tasks, a reduced ability to learn new skills, a reduced ability to cope independently. This would have all started before adulthood with a lasting effect on development. But what does that mean on a day-to-day -day basis for us? Having a learning disability is not the same, it's always different for everybody. It means I struggle with certain tasks, like life skills. I can't take something out of a hot oven, and uh, I have pro uh, problems with light numbers. Dancing dream actually means that extra chromosome. Extra chromosome means we're all special. Yeah. It doesn't really mean anything to me. I just think of myself as a normal person and the same as everybody else. So who are people for us, Dorset, and what do we do? People First Daughter is a self advocacy organisation. Run and led by people who have learned disabilities. For people who have learned disabilities. People First Daughter is governed by a board of trustees run by a team of hard working staff and supported by a large team of volunteers. Self advocacy means we come together to build each other's confidence, to improve communication skills and develop our ability to challenge decisions. We support our members in the community to live independently, making friendships and being strong self-advocates. Lots of people with learning disabilities in Dorset were feeling socially isolated. My life has been, I used to have one friend and I went out here my community nurse. I used to sit home for myself watching telly and then the friendship club came along and it all changed. I don't need my OT or community nurse anymore. It's about meeting friends, socialising, going to events. It's, it's really, really good fun coming to the events and seeing everyone have a good time. <laughs> yeah, it helps me meet people. It breaks down barriers and, and isolation for people. Right, I hear you like quizzes. Yeah. Which of the following things might stop you getting diabetes? So my name is Matthew Barkle, I'm the manager of the New Vic Bar and Restaurant in Weymouth. We have talent shows, we have X Factor, we have Strictly Come Dancing, we have Halloween discos. You know, it breaks down all barriers that you never thought was possible. A lot of my staff, they're a bit apprehensive at first. After uh, several shifts of doing the discos, they're completely different. I'm the mother of Katie. She has found a genuine peer group, which she wasn't able to before. I go to um, Speaking Up Group because I really like going there. I like to, contrib to contribute what I can. It's a massive opportunity because we get to speak up and uh, voice our opinions on things. You need to have your voice heard. You need to express how you feel so that you know big bosses listen and then hopefully they do something to make things better. You need to um, be more independent. By putting your foot down and saying there's something not right. So speaking up can change things and I recently lost my money, lost my benefit money and I appealed and I managed to get it back after a month. One of the other things people first all sit do is to go around premises to make sure learning to put people or any disability to able to use their services. My name's Kerry and I work on the forum project. The forum is about gathering information and taking it to social care and health and local government. That information comes from all our projects like Friendship Club, Quality Checking, Speaking Up. Some of the things that come back to the forum are transport, keeping safe, but the main hot topic we're working on at the moment is how to stay safe online. Meeting people first, 
changed my life a lot. I feel really confident now. I learned how to speak up and know what your word is. People don't feel so alone. I feel like I'm listened to more now that I've joined People First Dorset. I feel more accepted. We are a small charity and rely on grants and donations to support the work we do. If you would like to help us, you can contact us via our website or call us on 01305 257 600.